am I here in Wichita? Well, it's uh, <laughs> Just your stereotypical teenager, hated Wichita, I wanted to leave at basically the first opportunity I got and go explore what I thought was going to be my path of only moving forward and never coming back. So I went to KU upon graduation and needed to find a job and Wichita was the best place for me to come back and start my career in libraries. So in 2014, I felt like I had reached this point in my career where I almost couldn't go any further. For months and months, I had been sitting at my job and I was just dreading everything. And I felt like I needed to get out of Wichita because there was nothing here for me. So in my spare time, I taught myself how to code. And I went and found a whole bunch of groups to kind of help myself learn how to code, to be able to find a job outside of Wichita. And funny thing, in all of those groups, everyone was obsessed with Wichita and really loved it. And it's almost one of those infectious things where if you hang out with people who like it, your eyes just open up to all these different opportunities. Wichita totally grew on me and it um, has stuck. It's great. <laughs> it's stuck, it's great. <laughs> it's great. Okay, so I remember when James Chung came to town and I went to his presentation and I remember feeling, yeah, I felt like it was finally, I was vindicated. Finally, someone was able from the outside come in and see all of these things that I was feeling and be able to prove that they existed. But no, I, I really, I honestly, I fist pumped the air and was like pointing at him and looking around and seeing if everyone was listening because that's exactly what I was feeling. So after the presentation, I remember talking with all of my friends and all these groups that I had joined. It was the only thing we talked about for a while. And we all felt the same. It was, do we flee or do we stay and fight? And I remember sitting down with one of my friends and it was a turning point. He called Wichita the opportunity capital of the world. And I was like, oh, you know, you know, I feel like that really fits. We are the opportunity capital of the world. If we, if we take this chance, change our path, we can do anything we want right now. I didn't feel like we were too far gone. I feel like we still had a shot. And if we still had a shot, I wanted to help. As I've been a leader of Women Who Code, I found other female groups that are out there, women in tech, society of women engineers. So these communities that exist in Wichita to help bolster the tech workforce are helping to create an environment to allow for tech companies to come here or for tech companies to spring up. And it's providing a workforce to help bolster that forward, that without that, we, we can't have a tech force here. We can't have a tech company come in because there's no workforce here to do that. See, it really is complicated. Yeah. <laughs> Are you glad you asked? <laughs>